Ladies and welcome back to today's video. Um, before we get into it, if, you that, um, if you're new around here, that like button, subscribe. Mostly content we get here uh, is good. Um, but yeah, we've had brilliant views over the weekend and more subscribers, so thanks a lot for that. Uh, I really appreciate it. And yeah, uh, we're back today again. Um, news today, quickly, before we get into the main chunk of the video, is that Christopher Julian has finally completed his move out of Celtic um, as he makes his move to Montpellier. Um, he clearly wasn't for Ange Postecoglou, uh, but he had some big games on Celtic Jersey. But the, the Lazio at home, I was there. That was probably one of my the best match day vlogs I've done um, so far in my YouTube career because it, you know it, it just you know Celtic won going into that game expecting to win it, you know. Um, but we did. We won both games. Um, and Chalmers they won over in uh, Rome, uh, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, he's left the club. Um, and yeah, I would like uh, best wishes to uh, Christopher Julian on his, um, on his uh, new career with Montpellier on a permanent deal. Uh, the report is about one million pounds, so we did lose. But is it, how much was it spent on the five? We, I think we spent about five, six million, so we lost about five million pounds on him, which it was going to be expected, you know, with that energy, 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 injury, and you know, you just got older over time. I mean. That injury in 2020, December 2020, did I expect... Did I, oh, I expected Celtic, because Celtic were well gone by then, and they know, but I didn't, expect, I, I didn't expect him to leave. But when Ange came in, you already saw it. I know Julian's still injured, but you know, when Julian came back in the squad in February, playing that, he came on for 25 minutes against Rafe Rovers in the, the Scottish Cup. He came down and dusted. Don't get me wrong... I wanted him to I wanted him to get back in this team and rotate him, but you know you did cut off and staff out there. And when and when I thought when Yen signed, I thought, oh, you know, Anderson clearly doesn't see Christopher Julian in a Celtic shot playing from. And when I saw him play, he gave away a couple of fouls and you know here and there. But he's had his best sport. He has his good moments for Celtic. Don't be wrong with that. So the Rangers went at ham. They always had that. We always have that. So Celtic Rangers should have won the game at ten 0 but. You know, you've got to take your chances. Julian did. Celtic did. Um, you know, so many um, goals for Celtic. And he could have been, you know, it just didn't happen in the end for him. And he kind of do feel bad with him. But, um, you know, end of the day, just didn't work out for him. Uh, and it wasn't Andrew style centre-back. Because you could tell that, you know, he was dead slow in the ball. Maybe a bit sloppy. Um, and obviously a couple of free kicks given away a lot of pre-season. But, you know, it's, it's not something you want to be getting away in. A big game like a Champions League game, which we're going to go into. But best luck to Chris Julian. I always thought he was a, a decent centre back, but we do have the best defence in the league now. You're on which Carter Vickers, Jens or Starfield. That's a big question. Now. Jens has actually, you know, really got to sell on the side now. So that's a question now to discuss. Jens or Starfield, and obviously um, Greg Taylor um, as well. Um, but yeah, the main chunk of the video I want to discuss the ticket. Tickets out today for the Champions League free, and um, the free matches at Parkhead. The match, the packages, the way my our season tickets are, uh, me and my granddad's are, is that um, I got an email about it saying that we have to wait until next week to get them from ten a.m. I don't know about you guys, but from we have to wait until ten a.m. I wait tomorrow, August thirty first, until nine a.m. You get practically a day to do it, um, because our seats duty way for requirements duty for Champions League matches. For your seasonal, your seasonal seats is unavailable for the group stage games. It doesn't mean you have to spend more money. It just means you have to wait a week, which okay, you want you're going to get done dusted, which we, we normally do. But we'll wait, a, we'll wait a week, and it did happen. Me and Grand, it did happen with the Europa League matches last year. We did get put in our seats. Um, what I, what I kind of had to laugh about is when we get put to our seats. There were Celtic fans still in that area, still sitting, and they were still sitting in our seats. You know. I don't get it. I think maybe it goes with the. I think it says something about when you buy the t the season tickets. It goes something with the that. But you know, pretty much like the Rangers game, you have to buy your tickets, which we did. Uh, it's going to be some match, by the way. We'll fill in. Yeah, we've got a pod big podcast coming up as well about that. Can't wait for it. Um, but yeah. Um, so that we we'll have to wait for next week. We're going to have to wait till next week to get the Champions League group stage ma matches. It's going to be a phenomenal. Week. Just to hear that Champions League game from again at part again. It's going to be great. Um, the prices, um, forty three pound per game on twenty nine a package. Um, it's decent value for money. 
Um, all down to individual perspective. Anyone is anyone happy or upset with the? It is sort of entirely you know their business, but non corrupt fans will eventually be priced out completely with these things down to the line. You know it is what it is. Uh, it's just what it is because take the last time we were in the Champions League. I mean these prices were really not down like you know that like. The prices have shot up, everything's shot up, but you know, these prices have shot up and uh, you can tell that, you know, your ordinary fan will not be able to, you know, you're not every, you know, I mean, it's just, it's a shame, I don't get, I know it's your fan, you know, they can charge whatever they like, but it's a shame because it, these prices shouldn't be allowed, you know, you, everyone's not going to be able to afford this and it's a real shame, you know, you pay a lot of money for a season, like, you can't even see the Champions League match, you have to pay more, um, the Rangers matches, like, I mean, we're going to have to pay more, £30 a ticket. Just to see the Rangers game, even though they only get eight hundred, which is it's, it's crazy that we still have to pay that because they don't get the full the allocation anymore. So why do we still? Have to, that's a big argument. I really, I really don't think that should be allowed. Um, it really frustrates me that, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so Celtic have put their Champions League three match patches on sale, and I said me and Grand will have to wait till next week. I don't know you guys, but because of UEFA, we have to wait till next week to get the tickets. Um, yeah, they're also it's good. So it seems like older. It's fans build excitement for um first time in five years for the Champions League back to Celtic back the elite competition. The draw will take place on Thursday and there will not be long to wait action to commence due to um obviously a week schedule because of the World Cup in Qatar in November, mid November, with Celtic's first match taking place across uh, September sixth um or seventh. Uh three parkhead um encounters will be played against some of the Europe's best in Glasgow's East End. Patches see all are now available online. Um new requirements um for these matches are, and are not uh, members of scheme adults are priced at hundred and twenty nine concessions me and my granddad ninety nine and I'm ninety nine pounds each. I mean I I I found that uh, quite it's shocking, you know. Uh, I don't hundred and twenty nine pounds. I mean that's <laughs> some money, you know. Ninety nine pounds. I mean for a concession an under thirteen's ninety pound. Nine pound of difference between a concession and a, a under thirteen. That's that's not much, is it? Um and season tickets so as you know will be activated for the your seat. Um unless like me and my granddad would be have to get chucked out of his seat and get run an for the for the free match patches. Uh, we'll get the print out tickets, which is all in favour. You know, I got, got some up here from you know years back. Um, like that, uh, like some games, it was really good. Um, but yeah, upgrade of um the concession, blah blah blah. It just tells you about it. But yeah, it will go. So a small number of seasons, but cold. They won't be able to purchase a season ticket group um games because of the requirement. Celtic statement reads: We know that many supporters will we will wish to get their packs early, but we're ensured that the deadline to buy is after the group stage draw, when we know exactly who we're facing the, the world's greatest. Um, club competition. So if you're like me and my granddad, where well, we have to wait till um, next week, a week tomorrow to get the tickets, that's uh, so what it is, you know. Um, so let's talk about the other part of the main bit of the video the Celtics Champions League dream, a nightmare draw scenario. Right, let's talk about it. We've got to talk about it. Um, right, all eyes will be on um, Istanbul on Thursday as Celtic going to the hat for the first time in five years in the Champions League. Real Madrid and Antwerp Frankfurt contested one of the most memorable finals in the history of European football. And it was in Glasgow at Hamden Park, playing out a uh, host to a tingle for a loss of Blancos, running out 7-3 winners to win the fifth of the 14 European crowns. Uh, yet the Spanish and German clubs have followed a very different path since then, 16, 62 years ago. Um, and that's why when the Champions League draw takes place on Thursday in tea time, they could represent the best and worst set house for Celtic. Uh, of either face of a tongue to Glasgow in this season competition. Um, it was you know, hoop skipper Cal McGregor. He fans to crack the holders and the Spanish giants uh, for a bit of glamour. It's always a dilemma players and fans face and when it comes to the draw. They glad to say rival, um, rivals are more difficult chance of progressing or skip the, st the stardust on paper at least um, for a more risk chance of reaching the knockout stage. Uh, ahead of Friday's uh, Thursday's draw sorry, in Istanbul, let's take a look at the pots and um, had a shot at picking out. Uh, I'm gonna take a shot at picking out. You know the best of us can I use for us and plus Golden's men. When would the draw take place on um, the Thursday in Istanbul? So pot one, Real Madrid. <laughs> Real Madrid, Frank Eintracht Frankfurt, Manchester City, AC Milan, Bayern Munich, PSG, Porto, Ajax. Pot two, Liverpool, Chelsea, Barcelona, Juventus, Atletico Madrid, Sevilla, um, Real Madrid, Leipzig, Tottenham. 
Top 3, Borussia Dortmund, RB Salzburg, Shakhtar Donetsk, Inter Milan, Napoli, Sporting Lisbon, Bayer Leverkusen. And Pot 3, or uh, Pot 4, Mar uh, or four, or 3, uh, Marseille, Carabag or Victoria Pleasant, Bodo Glimt slash uh, or Dynamo Zagreb, Rakabi Haifia or Red Star Belgrade, Copenhagen or Trasmore, PSV Eindhoven or Rangers, Down Kiev or Benfica, looking at Benfica, main one going in that pot. And Pot 4, Celtic Club Bruges fill Pot 4, so there's still plenty to fill. Uh, the Nightmare draw would be <laughs> Real Madrid, Liverpool, in and man. I know Liverpool is not the best start in the league, but they've got great players. Uh, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm up for it. Your aunt's taking, your aunt's taking on Trent, I'm up for it. <laughs> um, uh, the prospect of obviously playing last season's two finals, you, <laughs> um, yeah, and your section says all about just Dalton, it could be okay on the evidence of this play against, Mon yesterday against Man United, and this will just start the Premier League season, and Liverpool might not be the fearsome, but, um, you wouldn't expect um, to continue that, and the Reds will only get better. And Real Madrid, well, it's Real Madrid in the competition, uh, where they're the masters, you know. Uh, throw in, uh, you know, so many um, Celtic, um, it'd be an odd trip to the iconic stadium, uh, the Nazuri. Um, Celtic played in 2015, but Simeone and Zaghi's men have played a perfect start to um, Serie A, and it would make a quite daunting trio of group rivals, wouldn't it? Um, and let's look at the other side, the dream draw. For me, Antic Frankfurt, Sevilla, and Sporting Lisbon. Don't get me wrong, I'm not underestimating these teams, but the dream draw is like you're avoiding the big the big dogs, you know. Antic Frankfurt, of course, won the Europa League this year, which is great, well done. Uh, Sevilla, and obviously Sporting Lisbon. There's a feeling that the Germans were taken, um, there for the taking in the Europa League final, uh, and Rangers pushed them all the way to penalty kicks reward for the Bundesliga outfit. It was not only placed in the Champions League, but, seeding, uh, but top seeding and left eye side thinking, what could have been? Oh, mate, was, that was what I need, that was. Uh, but they were undoubtedly the weakest of the eight teams in the pot and won, and they were thrashed 6 1 by Munich, by Munich and set 15 from the Bundesliga. So if you're 6, it's set 12. And in our return, they played well better than the Ram uh, Europa League last season to the city where uh, Celtic reached the UEFA Cup final. Would bring back memories of 2003. Sporting Lisbon won their first title in 19, 19 years to two seasons ago, but um, they're running up to Porto last year and uh, aren't the force they once were. So that's my pretty much video. We've got Julian away, and that's my pretty much ideal scenario for Celtic. The worst scenario is the best scenario for Celtic in this group, which is Thursday night, uh, Thursday, uh, from Istanbul in the Champions League group. So I'll bring it all to you on Thursday, li not li but we'll live on Twitch, Liam MYT, to see the live Champions League draw reaction with me, and it'll be posted on YouTube because. YouTube does not like me live streaming apparently, so there you go. So follow on Twi Twitch down below probably, Liam MYT, get that follow button, we'll, we'll live stream at 4 o'clock, which is good, not in school, which is really good. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys on Thursday for, and I'll tomorrow, yeah, but I'll see you Thursday definitely for the Champions League draw. But we'll to get the ideal group, or my person, personal ideal group, Dream Draw, Frankfurt, Sevilla, and Lisbon, or we'll we get the nightmare draw of Real Madrid, Liverpool, and Milan. We'll find out on Thursday. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe. Um, pleasure doing these videos, and I'll see you guys on Thursday for the Champions League draw.